60-second... I'm not starting again. 60-second no. retro gamer. Uh, with me is uh, Simon Pratt and Richard Haddon. Hello. Rich is writing a review, so... Uh, oh, OK. Yeah, well, sorry. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> this game is awful. Every, um, everyone, be it. everyone knows who I am. I am the foul mouth. Like PS1 game. Oh, no. yeah. The foul mouth scum. That's it. Is that, that your is, chip? Uh, yeah, as good as. Yeah. Go on, on talk. Foul mouth scum that is uh, Anthony Tremaine. And uh, we're talking about the truly diabolical uh, supposed PS2 game, uh, Spyro Into the Dragonfly. What? <laughs> Rich is so in, into this game, he's playing with a Parker pen. <laughs> and making amusing, uh, suggestive moves with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Spyro into the dragon. This game is not very well developed at all. No. It's almost like they sort of went, ooh, PS2, and they rushed it to get it onto it. And I mean, it's. As far as it goes, it is essentially what. I apologise for my creaky chair. No. What, uh, what a PS1 game would look like if it was to be HD remastered for the PS2, I think. It's just. It looks bad. Poorly developed, poorly. I mean, even the story doesn't make any fucking sense for a start. I mean, the villain is someone who you clearly saw landing a volcano at the end of the second one. You can survive that in game land. Yeah, but he was quite clearly dead. Yeah, as were his two henchmen, it's, it's, who are now both back as well. Are these, these two fellas that were on the screen at the start? Yeah. It just makes no sense at all. Why She's fit, she is. Yeah. Look at the cleavage on her. I love, yeah, the, I love the rabbit ears. Gives you something to hang on to. <laughs> Released in 2002. Then, was it really? Yeah. Oh my god. It's a 10 year old game this year. It still looks. It looks older. I mean, it's like they. On the PS1, this sort of development was acceptable. Okay. You know, where they sort of. They move their legs and they just sort of turn on the spot. Yeah. Like they're on a turntable. But on by the time PS2 came along, they'd sort of moved on from that sort of shoddy de 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 development. And even the loading times take forever. Is this the one that's just like the open world and... Yeah, I yeah. mean, there's like... The home world itself is very reminiscent of the old Spyro games, but there's only one. Whereas the other games had like f like four or five, I think. Essentially yeah. like Crash Bandicoot with all the, the portals you could do in whatever different order you wanted to. Um, but it was just like... It was so just poorly put together. I mean, like... Well, apparently, the loading. I mean, look at this. This loading time is still going on, and it started about a minute ago. I mean, the but the, um, apparently, it was rushed into production, oh, uh, which led to long loading times, graphical glitches, sound issues, and lockups. Yeah, I mean, I remember I walked into a tunnel. Not um, locked out. once. Nah, that would no. be awesome. Boom, boom. <laughs> And there are only nine <laughs> levels, all of which are in one hub world, and only 90 dragonflies for the player to collect. Yeah. It's compared to, like... I think they took the idea from um, uh, Year of the Dragon, yeah. where you had to go around and collect all the dragon eggs bit by bit. And that was actually a really well put together game, because you had... I don't know how many dragon eggs there were in total, but there was a lot to get through. Whereas this... You sort of had to fire bubbles and catch dragonflies, which I yeah. won't lie, was not very captivating. <laughs> and some of them were stupidly impossible to actually get at. Yeah. In some cases, and it was. Just oh, like, the best thing I think is uh, killing the sheep. Yes, which Turn is something stakes, that's don't they, uh, and yeah. Ribs. But it's still not enough to keep you held yeah. together. Yeah, so, ironically enough, Billy West played additional voices in this. He didn't play Sparks. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Um, That's yeah, also, didn't you play Sparks later on in the series? Uh, in Legend of Spyro 2, I believe it was. In uh, The Eternal Night. Because he yeah. didn't. I think David Spade played him in uh, A New Beginning. And, and then Billy some, West came in. Some black chap played him in uh, Dawn of the Dragon. Yeah. That was. Um, he's on Mop the Week an awful lot. No, he's not. Original D Hunter. No, it's <laughs> not him. He's in. Um, oh, what's his name? <sighs> Wait, no. Wayne Grady? Uh, yes. I believe. Oh, I don't know. From, um... Blah, 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 blah. Right, Christ. See, see that portal Who's there? Whose line is it anyway? That's the one. Who's line it anyway? Sorry, not Mock the Week. That portal is the portal to the final boss. Right. <laughs> it just sort of sits there for so the whole game. Sh shouting that portal there really helps the, the audio <laughs> listeners. Well, when, it? if you play the game or you watch the footage, 
Next to some sheep. Yeah. Uh, I'll get Prague to make sure he puts it in the review so you can actually the see hug. it. Um, Spyro walks over... YouTube.com big... forward slash random stoked. Yes. Walks over a big ring in the middle of the floor and that is the portal to the final boss which is Ripto and it's yep. not very good. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is fucking diabolical which is... Finish the game how they meant to start it, I suppose. Yeah. Really. Oh. I mean, other voice actors, you've got Greg Berger and Neil Ross. Uh, Greg Berger played Hunter and Neil Ross Moneybags, um, who doesn't appear beyond like the first level, apparently. No, um, whereas he's in but, quite a predominant role in... in yeah. uh, Greg Berger so. played Grimlock in the original Transformers. Oh, there you go. Uh, I suppose they've got to make money somehow, haven't they? Yeah, Neil Ross... Started uh, loading time. Let's have a look. Neil Ross. God, who did he play in Transformers? Neil Ross was also in Transformers. And I'm sure he played... Still loading. Uh, let's have a look. He was a... Still loading. Yeah, it, it is still loading. <laughs> it is tr- just, just to point out to the listeners, the footage we're watching is a loading screen still. Yep, yeah, still, still Which loading. Which is still going. <laughs> still lo- oh, no, oh, there, there we, go. we go. Into the game. The black screens, which there is technically we go. still loading. He played pretty much all of the uh, Constructicons. Oh, there you go. And Springer as well. Springer, from, who turned up in Transformers oh. the movie in 86. Oh, there you go. Um, I found something interesting about this game. Cracking. Well, there, which there isn't a great deal, to be honest. <laughs> no, no. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's just... I mean, let's put it this way. When it comes to glitches in this game, I was running down a tunnel in one level, and... Uh, all of a sudden, the scenery just disappeared. And I was left with the background <laughs> scenery. And the only way I could tell when I was getting to the corner of, of the tunnel was when he stopped moving forward. And I sort of had to guess whether I was going left or right. Yeah. Until eventually, he, the, the end of the tunnel could be seen in the long, far-off distance. Yeah. And I sort of had to make my way to it. It was fucking so uh, terrible. Um, I mean, even for kids, this is a bad game. Yeah, I mean, they tried to be a bit more clever by having Spyro talk a bit more like whenever he captures a dragonfly they named all of them and what have you and he sort of speaks I should call him Squishy <laughs> than, than he does in the other games but my he, name's Bruce it just wasn't enough to no, save the um, game He was tra- he's a dragon trapped in ice so he can't use his Almost Fire. obvious strength to break out. No. no. He has to wait for tiny, tiny Spyro to... And they didn't get that idea from the first game where all the dragons were trapped in statues. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. no. Of course, which I will have to review at some point, the very yeah. first one, as I've done every other game. I mean, the, the little things are quite nice. Like, the water looks quite nice. And yeah. his fire looks that, that, Yeah, nice. I think you're really clutching at straws now for things to praise about yeah. the game. <laughs> There's, I mean, no, it's nice of the chap who was just about to attack me, to wait until Sparks has finished talking to me. Yeah. So I can then kick his ass. Let's, um... Let's have some audio. Yeah. Yeah, Stuart Copeland's back again. Yeah, apparently, the um, the, the music is repetitive, the levels are confusing, uh, the voice acting is bad. And uh, there's lots of poorly animated cutscenes, unresponsive controls. Uh, did you experience a bit of that sort of <laughs> platformitis? Oh, the, every single Spyro game has been littered with platformitis. <laughs> there's, there's, I think the Eternal Knights suffered with it the most, unfortunately. Yeah. But even like down to the very first Spyro game had platformitis riddled within its uh, program. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually remember you playing this level. I just remember you being in the hub world. Yeah, I did play a bit. I don't think I stayed in this level very long. I think I quit it after a while. Yeah. And just ran around the hub one for a bit to get some uh, some other footage because I just couldn't bring myself to play any more of it. I mean, I would quite like at some point to play A Hero's Tale because that was came after this one. And, I mean, I don't know what the praise was like for that one. I haven't read a single review for it. These bosses are very easy to beat by the look of it as well. Oh, they were in all the games, to be honest. Early Spyro games, the, uh, the, the enemies weren't exactly challenging you just sort of yeah, I just set fire to them he's dead ran at them oh no actually no that's a bit unfair they were sometimes challenging but not in this one not a great deal but um I mean it's like 
a hero's Jet. tale went back to like what? He looks like the first dragon you saved, sorry to Yeah, yeah they, they probably all do, to be honest. I mean, it's like, mind you saying that, the first Spyro game had that, but that no, that's, that's that gonna was be a Neil PlayStation Ross. Uh, Spyro in trouble again, I see. What a surprise. Dragons in danger or something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the... Skip. I cut him off mid-sentence. Yeah. Because his acting was so horrible. Yeah. But, um, I mean... I think that, that's Neil act. Ross. That's that's depressing yeah. that he's... It's... I mean, saying that, though, his acting was really good in Year of the Dragon, mm. and I think it was a different actor in... Uh, his uh, acting was really good. It wasn't him, but... No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In Gateway to Glimmer, I think he's a, it was a different person who played Moneybags, if indeed he was in... Oh, honestly. Uh, Gateway this to Glimmer. On, this was on silent. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not now, is it? Was, it was on silent, yeah. It was on silent. Yeah. Well, I never did. Putting apps on the iPad. How rude. That don't. If you put on the on live game viewer on the iPad, even if it's on mute, it'll still play the <sighs> noise. Oh, loading again. Or loading. Go on, let's round this up. I'm getting, uh, yeah, getting there's, bored there's of really looking at it. There's not a great deal else you can say about this game. Gameplay boring, the... music boring. awful, uh, players one. Yeah. Uh, uh, Gameplay story not, non-existent. Much, so, no, there is a story, but it's not very good. Yeah. Controls clunky and unresponsive. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, the Lara Croft of the Spyro world. And graphically, PS1. Yeah. Up to PS2 I mean, level. It, it's, it's, it's a typical PS1 jumping to PS2 game, much like Tomb Raider, rushed and shit. Because <laughs> Angel of Darkness was absolutely horrendous. It and was. The first Crash Bandicoot game, from what you said earlier in another podcast... Yeah, it was, was distinctly average. Yeah. I wouldn't say it was hideous. It was, but it still wasn't exactly incredible, was yeah. it? I, I couldn't name you a um, PS1 game apart from... No, I could. I could, actually. Sons of Liberty. Right. Metal Gear Solid 2. That still had flaws, but it was still fucking incredible <laughs> at the same time. Even if it is a little bit of a, a touchy subject with me, but there you go. Yeah. But this is a typical example of a PS1 game really not working on a PS2 at all. It's like I pressed hover there and he didn't actually do anything. He just hit a wall and went, yeah. Ugh. Which is essentially Ugh. what the Spyro franchise did here a bit, unfortunately. Yeah. Because, I mean, like I said, I don't know what the scores for A Hero's Tale were like. I don't know well, this one got that, but... uh, an average of, on Metacritic of 56 oh. on uh, PS2 and 48 on the GameCube. Oh, dear. So what was the other one you said? A Hero's Tale. It was the one that came after this one. But the thing is, A Hero's Tale, it's like uh, Year of the Dragon, and it, from what I can see of A Hero's Tale, you played other characters as well. A Herod Tale? No. Yeah. No. No. No, we don't want that one. Yeah. It's a baby killer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know the baby killer? Herod? Yeah, yeah, but he, he was, was um, a baby killer. It, it's you had uh, other characters to play as, and you went off. And, I think in the, in the oh. third one, that vibrated very Sorry. nicely. Is that um, is that what we're reduced to? Farting about it. That that sums up the game pretty much. Yeah, but I think you played as Sparks in like top down levels that were quite good as well. But we'll talk I'm, about I'm trying to one. I'm trying to find the score for the the one that we haven't done yet. When we do, um, there we go. Right. When we eventually, how many developers has this had, man? What, Spyro? Yeah, It's loads. probably because people go, fuck me, this is terrible, and then pass it off. Puffer. 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 <laughs> he is, he is puffer. Puffer with a bear. See, there's like nine levels, and half of them you have to have a certain amount of dragonflies to enter. Mm. Whereas in like Year of the Dragon, there were some levels that were locked off because you didn't have a particular amount of eggs. But at least you had, like, it was one out of all the other levels that was locked off. A hero's tale, here we go. It was just... I think I need to review the uh, the older Spyro games, I think. That's my next three yeah. games to get out of the way. Developed by Eurocom, and the fifth and final console Eurocom. game... Eurocom? Yep, the ones that did Goldeneye. Goldeneye, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, and the fifth and final console game in the original Spyro series, and the ninth in the series overall. What, the new Goldeneye, the old one? The, uh, new, the new one. one. Goldeneye, uh, which is slash actually quite Goldeneye good. Goldeneye and Double O um, really Reloaded. Not. It's mediocre. Uh, oh, you said, yeah. he, hang on, a minute, literally ten seconds ago, you said, it's good? And then I said, no, it's it's really not. And he said, no, it's mediocre. I was trying to defend it then, but I, I thought I'm going to have to be truthful about it. <laughs> yeah, there isn't actually any uh, Metacritic score on here. For oh, me. <laughs> that says a lot really, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, well, let's just say it's probably shit then. Yeah. Going by that. 
Well, or it was mediocre because I think from here on, when Spyro was stuck in the. Well, there's links to reviews for it. I'll just click on. I one mean, of those. it's like the year the the end. The Legend of Spyro series is stuck in mediocrity. Yeah. Uh, the the best. the game artwork looks pretty good. I'll, I'll give it that. For a hero's tale. Yeah. Yeah, that does look quite good. <laughs> Yeah. Jump, uh, sort of lift your legs in the air and sprout. And hope for the best. Yeah. Okay, three games you'd recommend to play instead of this. Spyro the Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> On PS1. Yes, the original and yeah. best. Uh, Gateway to Glimmer. <laughs> and Year of the Dragon. Okay. Play them and then you go, ah, this is how this game should have turned out then. Yeah. Three of the best Spyro games going. Okay, okay. Right. Well, thank you for listening. Uh, if you want to get in touch, drop us a... Oh, a bit of gas there. Oh, dear. Drop us an email, info at randomstoke.com or visit randomstoke.com for um, all the podcasts, uh, the wor- the blog... Um, podcasts, blog, YouTube channel for the video review, uh, where I'll include the little circular pit thing. Um <laughs> The Twitter channel uh, and all of our other audio projects and video projects and all that. Just go to Random Stoke, it's all on there. Yeah, it's all on there. So, thank you for listening and goodbye! This has been a Random Stoke production. Please visit www.randomstoke.com for more.